What's going on, everybody? Welcome to our Rank Masters channel. This is your host, Mr. Legaretta, chairman leader inside of the company. And I'm super excited today to show you how to use our level scanner. As y'all can see, levels is an algorithm that identifies entry point stop loss and take profits one level at a time in the markets. Guys, this is one of the most profitable tools inside of our company. And you need to understand that you gotta use this tool with certain rules, with certain guidelines to be able to maximize the earning potential. So any rules or any trips and any tricks that I give you in order for you to be able to maximize that profitability, uh, take down your notes and I will show you exactly how to use it, guys. So go on I Am Master Academy, you click on strategies. As soon as you click on strategies, you'll come into this page, you click on levels, and it takes you right here. So with that being said, the first thing to look at is at the top right. Understand the newest trades are at the top and the oldest trades are at the bottom. The red simply means sell and the, obviously the green means buy. You need to also make sure you look at the time that has passed. So here this you know brand new trade was called out nine minutes ago, an hour ago. This was about, if I keep scrolling down, you know, two hours ago, I have found, so one of the first tips that I'll give you is some of the best trades are called out as soon as you wake up, probably between the time frame of 8 a.m. to 12 in the afternoon. Um, London session has officially finished moving into New York, and you need to understand that, you know, at these different times, as soon as you wake up, y'all can wake up and within 10 minutes, you know, run through three different positions, five different positions. So that's my first tip is using it in the morning, a simple 10 minutes, and you're able to write out these trades for, you know, 20 pips in profit, 30, 50, 80 pips in profit, depending on what it gives you. Okay, so with that being said, uh, we're looking at this trade right now. And again, levels gives you your entry, your take profit, and your stop loss. So right now you guys can see that we have a pending order here and it tells you the date and the time. Now this says a buy stop. So right now the candle broke through and we are waiting for the next candle to open. And if it does break through one more time, we are gonna go ahead and take that trade. So I'll give you an example. We wait for this candle to finish, might maybe jump down a little bit more. And then we're waiting for the candle to reach back out on the next entry and then it hits the buy stop and you're able to write it up to the take profit. If you wanna be able to calculate how many pips you're you know, risking and how many pips you are getting rewarded, you're gonna go to your toolbox, right here on the left-hand side, you click on the ruler and you're gonna start with the entry. So if you come on here in the entry and you go down to this you know, stop loss, you can see that little blue rectangle it says negative 496. Anytime you have this number, Guys, remove the six, you have negative 49. So that's that's negative 49 pips, you round it up, you know, call it 50 pips that we're risking to catch about 30. Usually for the level scanner, that's pretty much how it works, right? You have like a 50 pip stop loss and maybe a 20 or 30 pip gain, you wanna let that trade breathe, but you're able to copy and paste the take profit that's given to you you're able to copy and paste the entry price and you're also able to copy and paste the stop loss. Mind you, by this moment in time, you should have already gone through your Academy Basics, your 100 and your 200 series. So what I would tell you is you should know what pending orders are, how to enter them on your MT4, and that's pretty much it. So right now, obviously y'all can see that this trade is going ahead and hitting support. You should know a little bit about trading, waiting for it to settle, go back up, enter the buy stop and you're good to go. You guys, if this new candlestick opens up, y'all can maybe take the trade from down here and risk a little bit less, maybe risk 40 pips to catch 40 pips as well. But you always wanna make sure that you enter the trade at a market execution if it's within 10 pips of entry from the new candle. If not, you can enter at the buy stop. So that was right now uh, USD CAD. Let's look at one that was called about an hour ago on Euro NGD. Y'all can see we have a buy stop. So this is a brand new trade. We're waiting for it to come down here and waiting for it to break through. I'll kind of show you through some of these little arrows. Comes down here, candlestick ends, gets exhausted. New candlestick opens, 
boom, we have the breakthrough and then we write it all the way to the take profit. We're gonna go ahead and measure the pitch. So we enter this at the buy stop. We are risking on this trade, just like I told you, 50 pips. We are catching, just like I told you, 29, 30 pips. So it's not something you're able to take now, um, but you could set it up as a pending order. I would probably let this trade uh, wait a little bit, wait a few hours, maybe wait till London session. It'll give the market a bit more movement and then you're able to go in on the buy stop. We look at, let's say, Great Britain pound, you know, to Swiss franc. Right now, this is a sell stop. So right now, this trade, we are looking to risk and we enter it at the sell. Always calculate, guys, negative 50. And like I told you, right, positive, basically positive 30. That's usually the risk to reward it gives you. I would go ahead and probably wait till the candlestick reaches it. And I'd probably wait uh, maybe a little bit more. I'd have my entry price maybe 10 pips above this. I'd probably enter the trade right here at 1.1935. And if I do that, I'm only risking 40 pips to catch 40 pips. Usually I wouldn't maybe enter the trade right on the sell stop. I'd have the trade breathe a little bit, go a little bit higher, risk less to make more. So that's another rule, risk less to make more. Don't just jump into the trade just because it's at the entry of the sell stop. If you see that candlestick has bullish momentum on a sell trade, let it ride up a little bit. As soon as it goes, you know, and draw down on the trade negative five, and maybe negative 10 or 15 pips, you're able to then enter at market execution, have a higher take profit and a lower stop loss. And that's a little tip I can give you in order to maximize your earning potential. Right now we look at GBP JPY. Look, per guys, perfect example on GBP JPY on a sell trade. I won't enter this right now because I know that this, this trade might go up a little bit more. I'll probably, if you guys can see this little candlestick right here, I'll probably enter right here. I'd be catching on this trade, 45 pips. I'd be risking on this trade, 35 pips. Because I know that it might go a little bit higher and then I'll go ahead and maybe enter a sell limit or maybe I want to get here, I'll enter a market execution. The whole point of a sell stop is we know that once the market closes out of the top and has that downwards momentum, an object in motion will continue in motion, which is why we don't enter too early. Let it write up, let it write down, risking 35 to make, you know, 45 pips. So that's, you know, GBP, JPY, guys, this is a, an all copy and paste system. So you're able to copy and paste the same stop loss and the same take profit. What I would not do is I would not change the stop loss it gives me and I would not change the take profit. Keep them the same, but you want to make sure that you maybe maneuver a little bit with your entry to again, maximize your earning potential. With that being said, I mean, I can go through a thousand more trades. Uh, guys, this one hit it right on the money. And maybe this was an example where it was a missed opportunity, maybe because I would have let it ride up a little bit. Either way, if you were someone that let it ride up or you took it right on the spot and you were okay with that drawdown, that trade immediately went ahead and hit take profit. Guys, this algorithm has a very high winning percentage. So I want you to understand, copy and paste using it. Uh, maybe don't always enter the trade right on time or a little bit early. Wait till it goes and draw down five to 10 pips, enter a market execution, bigger take profit, smaller uh, lot, uh, stop loss, and y'all should be good to go. That was the level scanner walkthrough. Nothing too complicated. Enter your trades within the morning and y'all should be good. With that being said, that was Chairman Leader, Mr. John Greta. Enjoy your profits. Let's go out there and win together.